Morning, Debbie. Morning, everyone. We're going to be in Mark chapter 11. I'm going to read 24, and then we're going to jump all the way back to 12. And I'm not even going to read all the 24, so it's interesting. We'll be talking about a tree, fig tree, money table changers, and a mountain. 24 says, for this reason, I'm telling you, Okay, well, he done messed me up. So now i got to find out for what reason he's telling me what he's about to tell me. So now I've got to go back and keep going back until I finally get the story that he is telling and the combination of the story that he's saying. But keep this in mind as we're digging into the fig tree. We're going to be talking about prayer life a lot over the next year. It's where God's telling us to go. So 24 says, for this reason I'm telling. Remember, we're going to talk about the money changers and the fig tree because that's the reason that he's telling this story. Whatever things you ask for in prayer in accordance, and I got to amplify, in accordance with God's will, believe with confident trust that you have received them and they'll be given to you. And there's so much there, but we got to go back for the reason why he's telling them this. So we're going to start with the fig tree. The scenario is Jesus is in the... Well, coming into town, sees a fig tree. We're going to find out what happened. Then he goes into the temple, and the temple's not doing what they're supposed to. They turn, turn the temple into a den of thieves, and he says it's supposed to be a house of prayer. And then he goes, for this reason, I'm going to tell you how you should pray. So we got to go all the way back to the beginning to understand everything. So here's a tree. Verse 12. On the next day when they, they had a, left Bethany, he was hungry. Jesus was hungry. Seeing at a distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to see if it, if he found, he would find anything on it. But he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. All right, let's stop there before we get to the next one. Jesus saw a leafed fig tree in the distance. And we're going to find out in the next verse something that makes is a little interesting verse 14 or, or verse 13 where am i going yeah 13 i didn't read it all but he found nothing but leaves for it was not in season for the figs so here's this fig tree it's got leaves on it so you shouldn't be expecting anything to eat on it <laughs> but an interesting fact the fig trees over there, when they had leaves, they're supposed to have buds also. And the buds are edible. So Jesus wasn't expecting fruit of figs. Jesus was expecting the buds. I don't know how much nutrition you get out of eating flower buds, but that's what he was expecting on this tree. And it would be very important in a minute. So verse 14, he said to it, no one will ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples were listening to what he said. All right. Let's go back to the fig tree. Remember, Passover's coming. That's why Jesus was going. And Passover comes in March or April. So that's an important time. Now here's the fig tree. Fig season's not until May or June. So this tree is not supposed to be producing figs for several months from now, but Jesus cursed it because it's not producing fruit. Keep following the thread. Fig trees generally produce a number of buds in March. It's supposed to have its buds on it, which is the fruit. The beginning of fruit. Any, you know, like most of our vegetables, if we don't have the flower to bud, you don't get the fruit. So this thing is supposed to be having flowered buds on it that's showing you how many figs that you potentially are going to get in May or June. Then it produces the leaves in April. Which is totally contrary to most of our gardening. Most of our gardening in, in the English world, we get leaves, then we get buds, then we get fruit. But this tree produced the buds, then the leaves, then the fruit. So if we don't understand that or dig that out into culture, we're totally confused. So this thing is supposed to have a bunch of buds on it because the leaves were there. 
Leaves come after buds. So, and then it goes on, and it says, a ripe fruit would be later on in the, in the May or June. Jesus was looking for the edible buds, the lack of which indicated that the tree would be fruitless that year. Oh, 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 Jesus is telling us something from the tradition of the fig tree now, isn't it? Now it makes sense with prayer. So let's look at this tree before we even get to the money ch changers in connection to prayer. The tree is our prayers. 